coming. I'm just I'm doing something really quick. I'll be right there. Um, okay, hey, it's rodeo time. That's right, throwback Thursday. Rodeo time 99. Woo! Keeping it 90 is my show. It airs on Ride Pass. It is a show about me helping JB get back to going 90. Last summer, Calgary obliterated his shoulder. Thanks to me, he made the PBR World Finals that year. 88 and a half points on his first bull in first round. Old son has got what it takes with the help of Dale Brisby. That's why we've joined forces, JBDB Bucking Bulls. Hello! Also, I cover his merch line. This is one of his shirts right here. Feel rough, ride tough. Old son is the epitome of a rodeo cowboy, bull rider, gritting it out and uh, doing what it takes to go 90. That's why, that's why everybody likes him. Same reason they like me. Good looking, old school, 90 point bull rods. What else can you ask for? You know what else you can ask for? 90 miles an hour. That's why we brought in Ricky Stenhouse for this episode of Keeping It 90. Well, you're gonna watch behind the scenes. You gotta go to ridepass.com to watch the full episode. So visit ridepass.com. The shows are hilarious. They're fun. You can binge watch them. I think they're all out. Randy, Randy filmed it. He did not edit this. And it's, it's just really, it's rough. And there may be a few spots where it's shaky, overexposed, whatever. Don't judge. The point is, behind the scenes of Keeping It 90. Check out my boy Ricky Stenhouse. Check out JB Mooney. Check out DaleBrisby.com if you're interested in the shirts. Get out of here, fly. And if you're not, you just want to enjoy behind the scenes, you are in the right place, my friend, for Rodeo Time 99. Rodeo Time. Gotta get her on down the road. Ladybug, for good luck. Too bad I don't believe in luck because I'm the best there is. I don't need luck. I'm Dale Brisby. I go 90 at everything. I keep it 90. That's why I'm here. Don't say a word. Ricky Stenhouse. Ever heard of him? I'm his hero. Don't listen to him. Registration complete. All right, so we'll we'll see you on the track. <laughs> if you'll just come see Sarah, she'll get you finished up here. It's no really designed for racing with no governor, so it's capable of reaching 55 miles per hour. The biggest item we'll stress is that you must let off the gas and use the brake for almost all of the turns. The gas pedal is green, and it's located on the right side of the cart. The brake pedal is colored red, and it's located on the left. Keep in mind you can only use one pedal at a time, and it will slow down differently than your car. Yeah. To can use the brakes, we pour in the turn. On? The go-kart has an adjustable the seat and pedals, accommodating a variety of ability to keep to the go-kart go on the track. Driving off-track may result in the loss of driving privileges. What? Here's another pro tip. Look ahead. Oh, as soon as drivers typically have the fastest lap Well, that's what this whole thing is about, right? Yeah. yeah. Me training you, JB. Hey, does my go kart have a rear view mirror so I can see these guys? Hey, you gonna drive this beast? I'm already kind of car sick from Stenhouse driving this truck. I'm I'm a little high because of the exhaust. Hey, one of y'all want to pull up here? Yeah. Go ahead, Corey. Don't, don't stall out or anything. Watch this beast. I think the parking brakes. I got a bunch of butt Take sweat too off. from that. The AC didn't work. Plus it's 80 degrees, but we got to keep on the same clothes. Yeah, he looks like a Clifford. Yeah. Wonder how bad he really hates me, just don't say it. Probably hates me too. Oh no. I make him work with me. I'll take a good hot shot as long as I get to wreck this guy. That's all I want. I don't, I don't, I'm really confident that I'm going to beat both of them. Your haircut's wild. 
a lot of wind. Okay. I don't think it's going to matter. It's mess today. up the air behind them so it'll slow us down. That's what it's going to sneak across. Okay. I think he's going to have a helmet on. Is that a for real thing? Yeah. So these are what we're racing. Yeah. Here you go. This is what you're going to ride after. Wow. This looks like it's uh, kind of serious. Kind of serious. What's your top speed on this? Uh, at this track? 78. 78. That's like, that's like my top speed, period. <laughs> well, I thought 90. Was I mean, I mean, no, 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 I'm just, I'm just kidding. It's 90, of course. 90. We, we might be able to get her to 90. You think this one would, would go to 90? You could probably get a different track, man. So did your, uh, your pops build this? Yeah, he did. Oh, yeah, right there. Hey, Dale. Please you cut my area. What are you doing? I'm trying to put my helmet on. Hey, that one's for sale. Yeah. What are the what are those what are those cops? Look who we're sitting on. This one uh, is really slow down the straightaway. This one hauls ass. That one does fly. I think they do tune mine. You give us a fighting chance. Yeah. Yeah. What'd you think there, Dale? Yeah. He looks dizzy. I don't know why my knee hurts after that. You were reckless out there. <laughs> reckless. That's how he rides, man. Trying to get back in shape. Let me just figure out where I'm at. I don't know how it got so dizzy. You feel like you could go 90 now? Yep. You're welcome. You're welcome. Golly, it's gonna be so fun. Hot shots, both y'all. I think I was ahead, but I just a hair. Where did you go for like half the race? JB and I were together. Where were you for half the race? I think I probably lapped y'all. That's probably what happened. I was wondering because hell, I was riding on the side of the track most of the time, waiting on you. Then we finally got together, and you nearly killed us both. In the last quarter? Uh, second to last. Uh, Remember yeah. we spun around over yeah. there. We made eye contact. <laughs> if it would have been pleasant, it would have been called a moment. But instead, I wanted to fight you. So, yeah. Rick, you just give me like, well, I don't know. All right, so. Dale, JB was definitely third coming to the show. Absolutely. Finish. But I think you were, you were behind me as well. So that means you were in a hot shot then. No. I, I think that means y'all two get hot shotted. Why would I get hot shotted? I'm That's the sensei. The deal. the deal was we're the trying deal, to get I'm you to go 90, and you went like 40. Ah. All right, the way I see it, y'all two lost. It's like y'all are getting hot shotted. How do you feel you know about what, that? Fine. Whatever. Well, fine. 
If it helps him go 90, that's why. It's all about JV. That's why All about JV. Hey, Jason, you want to go get some gas? Dale, did you know the gas is on the right? I feel a little shaken up. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little shook. Um, I feel like we should go to the replay cam. Um, me and the, the NASCAR professional were head to head. No surprise on my end. JB was third, also no surprise. But I keep a 90, old son. Damn. So they forgot the hot shot in the truck. Sent me after it. Ready? Check on the bed. I did, I promise. Hey, Kevin, just let's just roll. Let me see. I, I don't know what we're going to do yet. Try not. And that thing holds a charge. <laughs> well, how do you get the charge out? You have to hit the metal. I'll get, I'll get it out. Start with him first. <laughs> hey, no, just start with them. Start with them and like, JB. Come in, JB. Hey, boys, you ready? I'm ready. Yeah, bring it on. Shock me. Shock me on the leg, but let's do it. Do it. I took out the batteries. I can feel it. Just try it on me. It's, no, it, it works. It works fine. You took the batteries out. <laughs> Where's the batteries, Dale? I don't know. It's your hot shot. Got it. Yeah. Just take it like a man. No, okay? Dale, you just, just take it like a man. Just take it like a man. Listen. Ready? You yes. take it like a man. Ready. Just check it. Oh, I thought you hit it. I didn't hit it. Ah! <laughs> I felt it in my fingertips. Here you go. Good. Quit. <laughs> ah. You got it. You lost. <laughs> no, that's fine. How do you feel about that? How do you feel about that? I don't like it. That's actually how I feel. I told you, top step. Um, Dale, I don't know how much you helped JV today, but I feel like I helped him a lot. Listen, you knew the guy that got us into the track, so yes, you did help. As far as getting him closer to riding a bull, we're one step closer. We're not there yet. You still got a lot to. I probably could have went down if I wasn't me. waiting on you most of the race. Hey, Dale, just give me one. Ricky, you did good. You did okay. I'll let you win. Thanks for keeping it 90. Anytime. On to the next one. Good. good. That's it. Jamie's like, give me that. Yeah, don't go. I don't want to wait here. If you hot shot me for real, JB. I know where your weak spot is. Yes, he did, for real, get me. Yes, JB did shock me. I mean, Ricky, Ricky, he did shock me with that hot shot. Good thing I'm so tough. I'm also a cowboy. I'm a rodeo cowboy. That's why, for episode 100, I'm going to spur the Baptist. The Baptist is responsible for sending Boone to the vet, not once, but twice. He, knit, he went to bite him because he's a bully. Boone whirls around, hits the pipe, his eye swells up. Watch the video if you haven't seen it. The point is, the Baptist needs to be taught a lesson from the old son himself. So, in Rodeo Time 100, next week, next Thursday, at 6 o'clock Central Time, look out for Dale Brisby spurring the Baptist, old son. This weekend, you need to take that time to get yourself caught up on all episodes of Rodeo Time, 1 through 99. I know it's a lot, okay? Don't binge watch The Bachelor. Old son, it's not bachelor time. I mean, it is bachelor, but like I'm a bachelor. It's rodeo time. I'm on to the next one. I'll see you next week. Right here in Winnebago.